in today's lecture we will talk about the vitamins and uh, the points that we will discuss in our this lecture are the very first one introduction of the vitamins the definition of the vitamins the classification of the vitamins uh, the vitamins deficiency sign and symptoms means the sign and symptoms that are going to appear due to the vitamins deficiency and uh, then we will talk about a mnemonic through which we will learn our these uh, sign and symptoms which are going to be caused due to the deficiency of the vitamins so let's start from the very first introduction vitamin concentrate vitamin this spelling v i t a m i n e this is actually a greek term which is actually composed of vita and amine vita stands for the life amine amino so the greek they considered that these vitamins are actually the life saving amine but later on after the investigation of uh, the chemical structure the scientist came to know that there is no any kind of amine available in some of the vitamins so due to which it was concluded that these are not the life amine these are some chemical substances which may include amine and may not include amine so then the term vitamin v i t a m i n e changed to vitamin so now what is the difference between these two terms only the spelling v i t a m i n here is e and here we don't see e so this is the vitamin now this vitamin is actually defined now vitamins are the chemical compounds needed in small amount for proper function of the body i think you got it these are the chemical compounds needed in very small amount for the proper function of the body so when you take these then your body will perform very well that's it and now let's come towards the classification of vitamins on the basis of solubility the vitamins are classified into fat soluble and water soluble those vitamins which are soluble in the fat are called as fat soluble and those which are soluble in the water are known as water soluble and uh, we have two water soluble vitamin b and vitamin c and we have uh, 1 2 3 4 fat soluble vitamins now here we will just uh, discuss with you guys a very simple clue regarding the fat soluble vitamins that is if it is difficult for you to remember the fat soluble we have a short acronym that is adec so it's actually a headache you just pronounce this headache as adec for the fat soluble vitamins so a d e k will become adec now this is actually the actually a kind of acronym for you guys to remember the fat soluble adec a d e k these are the fat soluble vitamins and you know we are using the acronyms or mnemonics for remembering in order to memorize something well we have water soluble if you have the knowledge of the fat soluble or if you remember the fat soluble a d e and k then it is easy for you to place the remaining b and c in another class that is the water soluble b and c and the next point regarding the vitamin b is that vitamin b is actually further composed of b1 to b12 so we do have vitamin b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 b7 b8 b9 b10 b11 and b12 now you might be thinking we have not studied b4 b8 b10 b11 and this person is talking about all and you guys are thinking very well because vitamin b4 b8 b10 b11 these are not included or these are not studied in the textbooks the reason behind i'm going to tell you right now the reason behind what is the reason behind when they were discovering these vitamins so the 4 8 10 11 these numbers were just a kind of excluded were missed or were taken out from this series the reason behind was that vitamin b4 b8 b10 b11 they were matching the properties or the structures of already available vitamins that is the very basic reason we don't study now b4 b8 b10 b11 in our textbooks so now we have b1 b2 b3 b5 b6 b7 b9 b12 and we don't have b4 b8 b9 b11 very simple just i was supposed to make you people aware of about these vitamins that why these are missing so now you got the concept that these are missing because they were having somehow similarities with already available vitamins so now let's come towards the next point that is vitamins and their deficiency and uh, the signs and symptoms due to the deficiency so we have vitamins a d e k c the vitamins now deficiency due to vitamin a is somehow visual problems will be seen or visual signs and symptoms like in the form of night blindness will be due to vitamin a deficiency when you have bone problems so sometimes it is due to vitamin d and uh, pregnancy is also responsible for vitamin a when it is deficient so then uh, there will be a kind of problem observed in pregnancy and uh, again problem in clotting will be due to vitamin k and scurvy this is a kind of problem due to vitamin c now let's come towards the b complex vitamin b1 beriberi you will see number of signs and symptoms like neuropathy 
it is a sign and symptom of this very very you have numbness in your uh, extremities like uh, in, your, in your hand and leg that is just because of uh, this uh, very very numbness and uh, needle like feelings in your uh, extremities in hand or in foot that is just because of the vitamin b1 deficiency and if you observe the cuts cracks in the lips or at the mouth the ending of the mouth these are just because of the vitamin b2 deficiency and the pellagra which is a kind of skin form that is because of the vitamin b3 deficiency and digestion problems like metabolism of the proteins fats carbohydrates etc is just because of the uh, b5 vitamin deficiency and uh, regarding the metabolism especially amino acids metabolism when there is a kind of problem observed regarding the amino acid metabolism that is actually related to the deficiency of vitamin b6 and the same is the case for the hair nail and skin so when you observe hair fall or uh, somehow problems in the nail or in the skin and uh, these are related to, to actually the vitamin b7 and uh, some blood problems like megaloblastic anemia and etc these blood problems are oftentimes related to deficiency of vitamin b9 and b12 and another very interesting point regarding the vitamin b is that when you are studying the textbook there is written at the top of the vitamins that these are the actually the energy releasing vitamins it means these vitamins play a very important role in providing energy to your body so whenever you feel the symptoms like uh, you are weak you cannot walk properly you have problems in walking etc so you must click that these are actually uh, problems may be caused due to the deficiency of vitamin b complex so you can put this very important point regarding all these vitamin b complex well now let's come towards our next point that is the simplification of the vitamins deficiency sign and symptoms so here we studied about the vitamins and uh, their sign and symptoms due to the deficiency of these vitamins so now here we will learn the mnemonics to remember these all sign and symptoms which are going to occur due to the deficiency of these vitamins and uh, here we have two mnemonics the very first one is bone eruption second one is berry berry worm so you have to keep in your mind the very first one bone eruption for the fat soluble vitamins a d e and k from these two mnemonics you will be able to remember uh, the very first thing is that you will remember the vitamins in a sequence number two you will be able to memorize the sign and symptoms which are going to occur due to the deficiency of these vitamins the very first one is bone eruption so what is bone eruption when a bone breaks and moves out from the skin very simple so whenever uh, you observe uh, your own bone eruption or someone else's bone eruption so you will ask someone else a c the bone eruption is prolonging the clotting so from this sentence you can remember the vitamins like vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e vitamin k and you can also remember the sign and symptoms due to the deficiency of these vitamins like uh, visual problems you can remember from the c and the bone problems will be due to the vitamin d deficiency and uh, pregnancy problems due to vitamin e deficiency and the clotting problem due to vitamin k deficiency and now consider the berry berry worm to remember the vitamin b complex so what happens in the berry berry worm the berry berry worm will actually enter through your mouth so your mouth suppose your lips are closed so berry berry will cut your lips and uh, the skin of your lips okay then it will enter into the GIT it will cause digestion problems metabolism problems and uh, due to which uh, your whole body will be affected like your nails hair etc and like this they make you give birth to the some baby worms which will go, which will cause the blood problems so like this you can place now this sentence for all the vitamins and their deficiencies vitamin b1 b2 b3 b5 b6 b7 b9 b12 and their deficiency will cause the berry berry vitamin b1 cuts in the lips etc will be due to the vitamin b2 and uh, and uh, vitamin b5 its deficiency will cause digestion problems vitamin b6 will cause uh, metabolism means deficiency of vitamin 6 vitamin b7 deficiency will cause hair nail etc problems and when there is deficiency of vitamin b9 b12 they will cause blood problems so these two are the mnemonic to remember all these uh, vitamins and the sign and symptoms seen due to these vitamins deficiency so that's a little bit from my side regarding the vitamins and if still you have any kind of question you can ask us in the comment box we'll come for the answers very soon thank you for watching